What do you ascribe the resilience of the Indian economy coming through this cycle of COVID, energy shocks, interest rate hikes? That has not always been the case when India has faced such circumstances in the past. Well, uh, it is definitely the resilience of the people, the enterprising nature of Indian people, and to be able to um, take it upon themselves that it, despite all the suffering, um, sacrifices, in fact, many of them lost their near and dear ones during the pandemic. Uh, despite all that, if the Indian people saw an opportunity that they can take this challenge up and come out in their businesses, um, despite, the, as I said, the tragedies at home, helping each other. Community service was one of the best feature, I would think, during that time. No one hesitated to help the neighbor with medicines or food if they were quarantined. And uh, the government, of course, uh, extended the assistance for humanitarian considerations and for reviving the economy, coming up with schemes which benefit targeted audience. So uh, government's policy played to the spirit of wanting to come out by the people of India, and that I would put in, uh, in essence was the reason behind this revival and the sustained, sustained growth. And going forward, putting it in more crude, macroeconomic terms. What do you think has happened to the trend growth rate of the Indian economy? It's one thing for people to come together, as you describe, in a time of crisis. Do you think this will have continuing benefits going forward for India? Yes, most uh, certainly, because uh, we've seen even in the troubled times, just as we were coming out, uh, recovering, and then you also had the support of uh, the extensive campaign on vaccination. Uh, both India made vaccine and also India produced vaccine. Uh, getting door delivered, uh, attending to those with comorbidities, and also making sure that the uh, frontline workers were given the assistance when they had to be given priority. So with all this, you could see that the support of the government was there at every step. Um, so even as the challenge was still on, you saw the people showing that kind of a capacity to ensure that the economic activity was happening first for their families and then contributing to the economy, larger economy itself. So if it could happen, even when the vaccinations were still ongoing, now that the process is complete, booster shots have been given, and uh, we are better uh, readied for meeting another, God forbid, contingency, such similar contingency, I don't see the spirit with which recovery had happened waning out. On the contrary, I would see that Indians have seen that uh, exports going up, um, finding newer markets where Recession has hit some markets which are traditionally our markets during, uh, in some sectors, for instance, textiles, apparels, used to go to a certain market, let's say Europe, no, no longer a very prosperous market because of the um, foreboding of a recession. But our textile industry are finding newer markets and so on. So even during the pandemic, just as we were coming out of it, we, our agricultural products found markets outside. So the, the spirit with which you're seeing this as an opportunity sustains even today, even as the global recession is being uh, very clearly document, uh, documentized, if I can use it. Yes. Um, so the Indian opportunity that is before every, every businessman, every trader, every exporter, every manufacturer is there for everyone to seize the opportunity. And that spirit prevails, and that's why I think this growth is sustainable. This uh, desire to want to expand is sustainable, and that itself will further trigger growth.